All right, you gonna be celebrating New Year's on Sunday? Yeah. All right, you see that? <laughs> but you know the New Year don't start in the middle of winter, right? You see that? And that's why the Lord said it's a teacher of lies. Our people going to be celebrating New Year's in the middle of winter when everything is dead. Right. Who the hell told you that the New Year is in the middle of winter? Right? The same man that raped, robbed, and murdered your people and put you in slavery taught you that lie. Right. right? So we have to separate from the so-called white man and the so-called white woman. That's right. And all these other nations that oppress our people. All these other nations continue to teach our people lies. Right? All these other nations got our people thinking that the I mean, that's just damn stupidity at this point, right? How the hell is the new year, you simple Negroes believe that the new year is in the beginning of the damn winter, right? I mean, our people got to pick up a damn book, man. We literally live in an era of information. You can go to the library and pick up a book. It's not going to hurt you. You can go on the internet and look up all type of information. Right? But our people just want to be simple. Our people just want to join hand in hand with their damn enemies. Our people just want to partake in the folly of these other nations, right? And that's why two thirds of our people have to be destroyed, right? Right? So we are here to teach our people, but just like the scripture said, a lot of our people don't want to hack it. A lot of our people are comfortable with being at the bottom. A lot of our people are comfortable with following these other nations, right? So read, read that in Jeremiah 20:11. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, and verse 11. Hath a nation changed their gods? The Lord said, hath a nation changed their gods, right? And like we brought up last week, the nation that changed their gods are the children of Israel, right? Right? Remember, Paul said that we were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, right? And the children of Israel fell into idolatry, right? So our people have changed their God. Read that again. Hath a nation changed their gods? And we have changed our gods. Now we worship the gods of the other nations. Now we worship Janus. Now we worship Nimrod and Tammuz. Right. And we have forsaken the true and living God whose name is Yahweh. Right? And we don't know our, our true nationality and our heritage. Right? So the Lord said his chosen people have changed their gods. Read. Which are yet no gods. Which are yet what? Which are yet no gods. What is Janus? No gods. Tamu? No gods. Nimrod? No gods. No gods. So the Lord said these things are no gods. Because remember, the Lord said the gods of the nations are idols. Right? They are not real gods. They don't have no true power. Right. Read. But my people. But what? My people. No, all people. My God. people Read. have changed their glory. For that which does not profit. Now remember, what profit if the graven image, right? The Lord said we have changed that into that which profit if not. Right? How does it profit our people to celebrate to celebrate New Year's, right? Madness. You see that? Hey, I know y'all cold. Right? You see how Becky was looking, right? Right? That's why we can't follow these people, right? You see that? You got Becky out here, right, half naked, right? It's 30 degrees outside. She ain't got no coat on, right? She out here shaking and shivering, right? Trying to be a whore, right? Read that. Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be ye very desolate, saith Yahweh. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me. They have did what? They have forsaken me. Our people have forsaken the Lord, right? Because they want to love their oppressors, right? They want to follow after the ways of these other nations. That's right. Right? They want to get drunk off the wine of Babylon, right. right? So our people have forsaken the Lord, right? But like I said, how does that profit our people to celebrate the customs of the other nations? What is that doing for our people, right? Right? You see that? So go back to um that's it on that. Let me get um Amos uh three and one. Right? Let me get Amos three and one. Cause we out here to teach our people. All these other nations, they can do whatever the hell they want to do. That's right. right? Right? The so-called white man and the so-called white woman, they can do what the hell they want to do. Right. If they want to come out here and celebrate New Year's and Christmas, hey, hey, do what the hell you want to do. We can give less than a damn. Right? 
Right? Your God is an idol anyway, so we can give less than a damn about you. I see it. Yes. But we out here for our people. Right? Because the Lord punishes his own people. Right? The Lord is not worried about all these other nations celebrating the uh, pagan gods because they have no true and living power. Right? Why do you think the Asians worship Buddha? Because they know that they don't have a true and living God. Right? Why do all these other nations have their own deities? Because they know that they don't have a true and living God. Remember the Lord said in Joel 2 and 27, he said that, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Right. And I am the Lord your God and none else. So the Most High God is not dealing with every other nation. Right. right? The Most High God is only the God of the Israelites. So read that in uh, Amos 3 and 1. The book of Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Yeah. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you. Right. O children of Israel. Oh everybody. O children of Israel. So the Most High God said it's time for you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to hear the word. Right? Stop following after the ways of these other nations and come back to your true heritage. Read. Against we'll read that again from the top. Hear this word that the Lord had spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known. The Lord said, What? You only have I known. The Lord said, What? You only have I known. And the Most High God said, He only knows the children of Israel. Right? And that's not literal. Of course, the Lord knows everybody. The Lord is the creator of every nation and every race on the planet. But what he means by he only knows the children of Israel, he's telling you that he's only dealing with our people. Right. The Lord only loves the children of Israel. The Lord only respects the children of Israel. The Lord only cares about the children of Israel. Right. Read. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you. He gonna do what? I will punish you for all your iniquity. So the Lord said, I will punish you. He didn't say, I'm gonna punish everybody, right? So the Lord not worried about all these other nations worshiping their false gods, right? right? He could care less about them. The Lord only deals with his people. Right? That's why the Lord said, even in Deuteronomy 8 and 5, the paraphrase it, he said he deals with the children of Israel like a father deals with his children. Right? right? So whenever your son going off, right? Even like the brother Shapar was going into, right? And if your son going off, right? Hey, look. And if your son going off, you tell him to go to bed, and he wake up in the middle of the night, and he playing damn video games, and what you gonna do? Right? He gonna get that ass with you, right? So that's how the Lord deals with his children. Right. Right? See, all these other nations, they didn't receive the law, statutes, and commandments. Nope. Right? The Lord only gave the law, statutes, and commandments to the children of Israel. Right. So that's why the Lord said, whenever you go off and you break my commandments, I'm going to punish you because you're supposed to know better. Right. right? So we are here to teach our people how to come back and serve the Lord so we can stop being punished by the Lord and the Lord can bring blessings to our people. Right. Right? Bring it so the Lord said, I will punish you for your iniquities. Read. I will punish you for all your iniquities. Can two walk together except they be agreed? So that was it on that, right? So let me get the book of uh, Baruch and let me get chapter 6 and verse 5. Right? Let me get the book of Baruch, chapter 6 and verse 5, right? So, like I said, we are here for our people, right? We are here to teach our people on how to come back to the path of righteousness. Right? Con six and five. The book of Baruch, chapter six and verse five. Bring it out. Beware, therefore, that ye in no wise be like to strangers. Be like to what? Be like to strangers. That's a warning. The Lord is telling his people that the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are not supposed to be like the strangers. Right? Who are these strangers? Right? These strangers are talking about the heathens of the other nations. Right. The so called white men, the so called Asians, the so called Arabs, the so called East Indians. The Lord said, Be not like unto strangers. Right. Read that again from the top. Beware, therefore, that ye in no wise be like to strangers 
neither be ye afraid of them. When ye see the multitude before them and behind them worshiping them. What? Worshiping them. You see that? Because all these other strangers, they worship their false deities, right? They're going to be worshiping Janus, right? They just got done worshiping them, right? right? So these are the gods of the other nations. The Lord said, be not like unto strangers. The Lord gave his chosen people a rich heritage, right? The Lord told us that we are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord told us, learn not the ways of the heathen, right? The Lord told us that all these other nations, they're supposed to look at us and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Right. But not all these other nations look down on our people. Right? right? Because instead of following after the ways of the, of the Lord, we follow after the ways of these other nations. And they're supposed to be following after our ways. Right. We can never be on top if we always follow after the people that's supposed to be following after us. Right. It's never going to work out. Oh, yeah. Right? That's why the Lord said, Follow not after the ways of these strangers. But what are we supposed to do? Read that. But say ye in your heart. But do what? Say ye in your heart. And the Lord said, say ye in your mind. Read. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord whose name is Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. That's the true and living God. The creator of the heaven and the earth. The God of the Israelites. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Oh Lord, we must worship thee. We must do what? We must worship thee. But the white man said that we got to celebrate New Year. We must worship thee. The, the white man said that we got to celebrate Christmas. We must worship thee. And the Lord said we must worship thee. The only God that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are supposed to be worshiping is the God of this Bible. That's right. Not the God of these other nations. Our forefathers said, oh Lord, we must worship thee, right? We are not to worship the gods of the other nations, right? And we came out here to give our people the truth because in Sunday morning, they're not going to be teaching our people the truth. Nope. Right? In Sunday morning, they're going to be passing that plate around, right? 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 Teaching our people that it's okay to celebrate New Year's, right. right? Teaching our people that it's okay to celebrate Christmas when you can't find these customs in the Bible, right? right? So read that part again. But say ye in your hearts, O Lord, we must worship thee, for mine angel is with you. For my what? For mine angel is with you. Right, so that was it on that, right? So let me get uh, Wisdom of Solomon 15 and 15. Right, let me get Wisdom of Solomon 15 and 15. And I'm going to get a few more and I'm going to close it up, right? So we are here to edify our people, right? In these last days, the Most High God sent us out here to blow the trumpet for our people to give you this warning. That's right. right? If you do not separate from your idolatry, you will be destroyed with these other nations. Right? So bring that out in uh, Wisdom of Solomon 15, 15. Verse 15. For they counted all the idols of the heathen to be gods. Wait, what do our people do? They counted all the idols of the heathen to be God. That's what our people do. Our people are like sheep that's led to the slaughter. They willingly follow after the ways of the other nations, right? They don't even know what they're worshiping, right? They said they count the, the gods of the heathens to be, to be gods, right? Read that part again. Yeah. For they counted all the idols of the heathen to be gods. Right which neither have the use of eyes to see right, nor noses to draw breath right, nor ears to hear right. nor fingers of hands to handle and as for their feet they are slow to go right. for man made them for what man made them how did buddha come about man made them how did Talmud come about man made them how did krishna come about man made them how did janice come about man made them you see that that's why our people are not supposed to be worshiping the gods of the other nations. Right. Why are you worshiping a God that can be made by the hands of men? Right. Right? How the hell does Buddha have any power? Right? He don't even have breath. He's not even alive. He can't even stand up. Right? He, don't, he can't even see. He can't even move. But these are the gods that our people worship. You worship a God that can't breathe, that can't move, that can't even stand up. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is madness. Right. Like that belly ain't going nowhere. Right. You see that? But these these are the these are the 
These are the gods that our people want to worship. Right? Bring that up. For man made them, and he that borrowed his own spirit fashioned them. But no man can make a god like unto himself. For being mortal, he worketh a dead thing. Which hey, what? A dead, dead thing. thing. What is Janice? A, a dead, dead thing. thing. A dead thing, right? You're celebrating a dead thing in the midst of the dead of winter. Right? You see that? You're celebrating a, 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 a dead God in the dead of winter while everything is dead. Right? <laughs> and you can't tell me our people are not devalued to dry bones. That's right. It don't get no more, it don't get no more uh dry than that. Right? Our people are mentally and spiritually destroyed. Right? Sunday night, you're gonna have so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans holding hand in hand with these other nations partaking in the biggest festival of the heathens. Really, the New Year's is, that's that's the top A. Hey, the New Year's is the top of everything, right? That's like the biggest, that's the, that's the biggest uh, holiday in America, to be honest with you, right? All year, all the other holidays don't really, uh, don't really uh, measure up to New Year's. That's like the top of it all off, right? right? That's really the top god of the Romans was Janus, right? So that's the highest level of idol worship our people gonna be partaking in Sunday night, right? Every single abomination that you can think of under the sun, our people gonna be partaking in this Sunday night. All types of fornication, all types of adultery, all types of drunkenness, all types of hoarding, right? We see it every year for the past couple years, right? You gonna have a so-called black woman, she gonna be out here half naked, right? She gonna have everything showing, right? You gonna have men out here lusting, people gonna be bumping into each other, people gonna be falling on the damn ground. We see it every year, like literally, like people, it be a damn parade out here. Mass numbers of people drunk, throwing up all over the place, right? right? Falling on each other, people bumping into each other, Hi. right? People out here lusting, right? Committing adultery and fornication and hoarding, right? People, I mean, it's like a damn, just a freak show out here, man. Right? So the Lord said, we have to come out here and clean up our people, man. Well, our people are better than that, right? The Lord said, learn not the ways of the heathens and don't partake in the ways of these strangers, right? Because when we celebrate the things of the other nations, we just, we, we gonna be the same thing that Paul said in the book of Corinthians. We gonna be Gentiles. Right. Not literal Gentiles, but we gonna be living the same lifestyle as the Gentiles and keeping the customs as the Gentiles, right? right? We gonna have a Gentile state of mind, right? So we out here to wake up our people and transform the minds of our people, right? So that was it on that. Kyle, let me get, um, let me get Hosea 14 and 1. Let me get Hosea 14 and 1. And then I'm going to get one after that, and then we're going to close it out. Hosea 14 and 1. The book of Hosea, chapter 14 and verse 1. Bring it out. Oh, Israel. Oh, who? Oh, Israel. Oh, what? Oh, Israel. Oh, Israel. So, like I said, we are here for our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. The Lord said, Oh, Israel, read. Oh, Israel, return unto the Lord thy God. Oh, this is the last calling. The Lord said it's time for his people to return back to his law, statutes, and commandments and separate from this madness, right? Separate from your idolatry, right? Our people need to separate from their enemies and their oppressors. Read. Return unto the Lord thy God. What? Return unto the Lord thy God. For thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. Our people have fallen by thy iniquity. Right? You are the strongest and most greatest people upon the face of the earth with a destroyed mind state. Right. Not a so-called black man just want to walk around with the so-called white woman. Right? He just want to get drunk and get high. We want to celebrate holidays that he don't even know the origins and the customs of it, right? Thinking that the damn uh, New Year's start in the uh, middle of the damn winter time, right? When everybody getting damn frostbite and everybody catching the flu, right? 
And the Lord said, return unto me in these last days. Read. Return unto the Lord thy God. What? Return unto the <laughs> Return unto the Lord thy God. What? Return unto the Lord thy God. For thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. Thou hast what? Fallen by thine iniquity. Our people have fallen by our iniquity, right? Can you read it? Come on, man. Take with you words. And turn to the Lord. And do what? And turn to the Lord. In these last days, our people have to turn to the Lord, right? Stop celebrating New Year's in the dead of winter. Right. Right. Stop celebrating Christmas. Right. Stop celebrating uh, uh, Thanksgiving. Right. The murder of your own people. Right. The 4th of July, a day where our people were still in captivity. Right. Right. So now it's time for our people to celebrate from the ways of the of the, of the nations and come back to their true heritage. Right. We. Take with you words and turn to the Lord. And do what? And turn to the Lord. Celebrate New Year. Turn to the Lord. Worship Jen. Turn to the Lord. Now it's time for our people to turn to the Lord, right? World War III is on the rise. Massive death and destruction and famine is coming to America. And if you're so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American, if you want to escape that judgment, you have to return back to the Lord in these last days. Read. Take away all iniquity. What? Take away all iniquity. We out here to let our people know if you repent, right, and you be sincere, the Lord might have mercy on you. Right. right? And the Lord might accept you. Right? Read. And receive us graciously. Right, read. So will we render the calves of our lips. Right now, let me get Matthew uh, 4 and 17. I'm going to close it out. I'm going to let the next brother come up and bring it out. <laughs> The book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, Repent. Do what? Repent. Do what? Repent. For the kingdom. For the what? For the kingdom. For the what? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Is that what? Is at hand. Is that what? Is at hand. So like we tell you week in and week out, the kingdom of heaven is at hand for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right? If you didn't know, you living in the last days, and if you want to escape the death, destruction, the famine, and the pestilence that's coming to the earth, you got to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. You got to repent, right? And you got to come back to serving the Lord, right. right? But with that, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, and Shalom. Shalom. Pray Yahshua! Pray Yahshua! Pray Yahshua! Pray Yahshua! Pray